Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making a crock pot six can taco soup really quick. I will having a whole lot of fun. I know I make mistakes, but I don't wanna talk about it. Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up another dish from recipes that crock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And today we're gonna do something really, really fast because sometimes you wanna have a dinner put together really, really fast so that you don't have that much work to do. Maybe you didn't have that much time to do it. Maybe your camera is low on battery and you forgot to charge it, so you need to make a quick recipe so that you can get it done because your boss said so, but you don't have that much time. Whew, calm down, I've got this covered. Today we're gonna to be making a crock pot, six can taco soup. You don't think that you can make a delicious dinner with six cans of soup? <gasps> oh yes you can. And all you need to get this started are five ingredients using six cans or sometimes five cans if you can find a bigger thing of chili. But this is the way it goes. All you need is 30 ounces of a no bean chili, unless you're really into beans, and if you are, you're not from Texas. I would get yelled at if I used beans in my chili. But I'm not in Texas right now, and I'm in Arizona, and we like beans. So actually, we're gonna use a no bean chili, and we're gonna use 30 ounces. We've got two 15 ounce cans, and it just goes into your crock pot. That came out clean, good. 30 ounces of your favorite canned chili. We definitely like it with lots of meat. You want one can of tomato sauce. 15 ounce can goes right in there. You want one can of black beans, if you like beans. If not, make it a five can recipe, or a four can if you can find that 30 ounce can of chili, and omit the beans. We're gonna use black beans. Notice, undrained. Why undrained, Mikey? Simple, because we're making this a soup, so we want all the liquid, all the juices. Next, a can of sweet corn. Undrained, same thing, we want that for the broth. That's gonna add some sweetness, a little bit of crunch. And then last but not least, you want a can of diced tomatoes. Undrained again, because again, you want that broth. And just like that, you're on your way to making your family super, ah, get it, super happy. All you wanna do is stir it up, just like that and it's good to go. So now all we need to do is put a lid on it. And we're gonna set this, we're gonna do this quicker. If you wanna do this for a slow, slow cooking recipe, this is one of those four to six hours on low, or you can go high for two to three. I am gonna go for high for two to three. So slow cook. I'm gonna set it for three. I bet you it will be done sooner than that. But you'll know as soon as we come back. I'm gonna go do some karate with the kid, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna have taco soup in three, two, one. I almost forgot an ingredient. This is a taco soup recipe, so you need a one ounce packet of taco seasoning. Just put it in there, quickly, quickly, before the battery dies. There's no quick way to do this. I need scissors. Found some. One ounce. Packet taco seasoning goes right in the soup and it's stirred up. Just like that, get it all incorporated in. My bad, y'all. I was in such a hurry. I almost just made six can soup and not six can taco soup. But now that we have fixed this, we're going to show you something else you can do. Because let's say, oh, I don't know, you don't want to wait those two to three hours. The longer you wait, the better the soup is gonna be because the longer you're letting all those flavors meld together, especially if you put all of the ingredients in like you're supposed to at the same time. But let's say you got one of these fancy crock pots like Chris has got. You put the lid on it and you say, oh, I'd like this in an hour or less. I would set it on a stovetop setting. There's a high and a low on this one. I'm gonna go on high because I want this to cook up real quick. And you're gonna see what that looks like in just a few minutes, or in your case, three, two, one. And just like that, our soup is done. I'll shut this off. I got it going on a rolling boil, slower. Stirred it up a couple more times. And all I wanted to do was definitely get that taco seasoning incorporated into the soup. I got in such a hurry, I made a mistake. This is why you should take your time, charge your cameras beforehand, and not be in such a hurry. But now that everything's all heated up, and everybody's joined the party together. Get 
me a bowl of this goodness. And then all you want to do is garnish it any way that you want to. Think of how you garnish a taco. You could do sour cream, you could add some onion, lettuce if you want to. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to use is a little bit of cheddar cheese. Even better if we had some. It would be like a Mexican four cheese blend, which is good. But I'm a simple man with simple tastes, except in women. And that's when I go fine dining. She's in the other room working right now. But all I want to do is put a little bit of cheddar cheese on there. Or in my case, a lot of cheddar cheese on there. And then just like a taco, you need a taco shell. So I'm going to take some cantina chips. Lots of cantina chips. And crumble up on top. And that's as far as I am going to dress up this soup. Now, I'm going to come up here and eat it in front of you. Because that's my job. That's my job. That's what I do. Gonna eat some taco soup in front of you. Put it in my belly. That's my job, you see. I just stirred everything up, got it all going here. Wanna sing you that pretty messed up Conway Twitty song? Not that his song's messed up, but I messed it up for him. If I can get some of the cheese. I know it's hot. Especially putting that on a stovetop setting. It got hot and it got hot quick. So if you do that, make sure that you're watching it. But all we have, liquid tacos. Mm. I know there's a debate on beans and chili. I don't care. I think those black beans that are going in this taco soup, they got married up with that beanless chili. It adds more protein, so it's gonna be more filling. Mm. It's got that taco spice because of the taco seasoning that I mm, added in later. It's not spicy. If you want to spice it up, you can chop up, dice up some jalapenos, whatever you want to put in there. But if you just want a good taste in soup that tastes like tacos, this is it. That corn gives it a sweetness. And of course, all those tomatoes with between the sauce and the and the diced up tomatoes. There's plenty of acid in there. There's plenty of sweetness in there. I put those tortilla chips in there and along with that corn is going to give it a crunch. Mm. That's a good recipe, y'all. You saw how simple and fast it was to put it together. Like you're gonna want to do it low and slow. Put it on low for four to six hours. High for two to three. Or cheat like I did. Put it on your stovetop setting. Yes, you could do this in a pot. I like the fact of doing a slow cooker because you got more real estate. Because you need a big pot for six cans of stuff to make such a wonderful soup. But this is so good, y'all. I know you're gonna like this. In fact, if you do, I hope you will. Give us a like down below. Also, if you've not become a member of the Croc Posse, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and become a beloved member of our ever-growing Croc Posse. Also, if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, make sure you click the little bell next to it. We call it ding -a -ling, And that lets YouTube know that you want to know as soon as we put up a new video. But most importantly, y'all, laugh often, eat good food, like this taco soup, and speak life. See y'all later. Bye. Mmm. I know I make mistakes, but I don't want to talk about it. Oh, we're having a whole lot of little. Hey, y'all, today we're going to be making a crock pot taco soup. Crock pot six can taco soup. <laughs> hey, y'all, today we're going to be making a crock pot six can. I forgot to put in an ingredient. So I have to reshoot this part. Yay! If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.